Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn how to build a navigation menu for your mobile app. To start designing your mobile app menu, on your Shopney dashboard, please see the menu section. On this menu section, on the left, you will see all the available menu elements that we offer, as well as your collections and your pages and blocks. And to start designing your app menu, all you need to do is just dragging and dropping the menu elements onto the central design area. An important note here is that showcase element must be the first element on your app menu. Otherwise, your app will not be opened with the showcase that you have designed. So please keep that in mind and make sure the showcase item is at the top of your app menu. If you click on any uh, menu element you put here, it will open up this right menu where you will be able to design, uh, sorry, edit or update this specific menu element. So you will be able to rename the elements. You can play with their alignments and you can also add menu icons to your elements. We have available icons on your Shopney dashboard. You can also choose to leave it empty or you can go with your custom icons. If you will use your own custom icons, please make sure they are in PNG format, black and white and transparent. All right, so let's move on with the all products element that I have just dragged. All products element is actually a special collection uh, generated by Shopify for mobile apps only. So I have just renamed it as Shop All. I'm changing the alignment again as left and I'm adding a menu icon. So let's go with the new tag. All right, clicking on done. And now uh, I know that the menu must be as simple and as functional as possible for my app user to be easily uh, navigating inside. So please keep that in mind while designing your app. And rather than adding too many elements on your app menu, make sure to keep this number as small as possible. What I mean is that, for example, this My Account element serves as a summary uh, of your customer data. So rather than adding, let's say, wish list or My Orders element as separate items on the app menu, you can just add My Account element because it already covers them. I'm also adding a menu icon to this one. Clicking on done, that's it. You can also, uh, your, you can also create sub collections or just uh, add, you add your collections directly on the app menu. This is a decision uh, you need to decide based on your uh, business model and the collections that you offer. Uh, regarding the sub collections, especially, we have uh, prepared a detailed tutorial. So, if you're interested in hearing more about the sub collections, please make sure to watch that tutorial. All right, so let me move on. We also have this card and in app messages elements. You can surely add these ones on the app menu as well. But again, please keep in mind that these elements are also available as icons on the top navigation bar of your app. So knowing that I need to keep my app menu as simple uh, as possible, I will choose to not add them and rather I will be adding this web URL element on my app menu. You can link any web page inside this web URL. So I want my app users to follow me on Instagram. So I'm renaming my title as follow us. I'm inserting the URL. I'm changing the alignment. And for this one, I will add a custom icon. And done. Lastly, I will go with the collapsible menu, which is a menu element designed specifically for your pages and blocks to be displayed in a drop down menu. So I'm renaming this menu element as more. After the first installation of Shopney, all your pages and blocks will be synced and appear here. So you can easily drag and drop them under this collapsible menu element. So we are almost ready with our menu. Uh, let's click on save and update and let's see the quick action part. 
So quick actions are actions that you can add and they will appear at the bottom of your app menu. Once you enable the action, you will see the different types that we offer to be added as quick actions. So let's say you are going with WhatsApp. You can again change the name and all you need to do is just inserting the values and that's it. So for the action two, let's go with email. And again, all you need to do is just inserting the emails and that's it. Clicking on save and update. And as you see, our app menu is now ready. And you can make changes on your app menu anytime, even after the app goes live. And if you have any further questions regarding the app menu or need help with anything else, please make sure to contact our live support team anytime. And we'll make sure to help you as soon as we can.